Today's video, I want to answer some questions that have been posed on the site. And actually, one question in particular, the number one question I have received is, how much does it cost to own a Cirrus SR20, in my case, or an airplane in general, or insurance, or maintenance? So I thought I would use this video, which is the video of me testing the plane after the repair of the field control module and um, give you some ideas of what it costs to uh, own a Cirrus. Um, spoiler alert, and cheap. And uh, I want to thank uh, Richard Constantine and Stud Maverick Aviation, uh, two subscribers who specifically asked for, the, for this video. So here you go. Okay. Welcome aboard. Uh, this is the uh, follow-up test flight to um, the repair to the field control power module. Uh, hopefully I can get some uh, work done out to the east. There are some showers in the area, but uh, I think I can avoid most of the nasty stuff. And stay VFR while I'm practicing IFR. So, see everything seems to be to the west now. I'm hopeful. I'm hoping that nothing else, not too much more, pops up on the east side. Change my frequency one two zero point three. It's late in the day, so we'll see what happens. Okay, do our run up, and we're kind of keeping an eye on the. Electrical system, because that's what we just fixed. Okay, so I'm going to go left. Or left. Any so RPM drop? Up, no need to respond, but just for your planning purposes, plan to exit the runway at Bravo 3. And right. 80, 80 RPM drop. We our brakes are good. They're not tripping. That's good news. Let's go ahead and do a voltage check. Alternator one getting loaded. Up to twenty in the pitot heat. It should jump to thirty. And it did. Back down. Back down. Back down. No change there. Magnetos are checked. Engine power. And throttle check. Then we're going to turn that off for a minute and do our, our autopilot. So heading left, check, heading right, and check. I don't know why our altitude so much. Go down. Vertical speed, and that checks out. Good. Okay, so far so good. Okay, everything's looking pretty good, and autopilot off. And let's recenter. Take off. Lucky four six zero. Turn right, heading one one zero. Runway okay. near center, clear for takeoff. Set. Cap handle. Out. Stowed. Out. Oh, stowed. Okay. Sanford Tower. Okay, we have Victor. One eight five three Zulu observation. Wind zero eight zero at eight. Visibility one zero. Few clouds at two thousand nine hundred. Ceiling six thousand five hundred. Broken eight thousand. Overcast. Temperature two eight two point two one. Altimeter two nine or nine or eight. Sanford Ground, Tree A Tree, Juliet Tango, Cirrus SR20 at Spot A with Victor. Cirrus 3A3, Juliet Tango, Sanford Ground. Cirrus 3A Tree, Juliet Tango, looking for a uh, northeastern departure, VFR. Cirrus 3 Juliet Tango, uh, north side caller stepped on you. Say requested altitude, I got northeast bound. Uh, northeast bound 2500 for 3 Juliet Tango. Joe Tango, maintain VFR out or below 1,500. Departure frequency 
is 119.77, Squawk 0362. Okay, at or below 1,500, uh, 119.77 and 0362 for our squawk. Sure, 3 Joe Tango, read back correct. Bucky 321, Roman left, Bravo 2, taxi via Bravo 2. At 3 Joe Tango, read a taxi. Just 3 Joe Tango, Roman Nutter, right, taxi, Sierra 3 Sierra. 9 right, Sierra 3 Sierra, 3 Joe Tango. Okay. Time to get this show on the road, folks. Okay, let's talk money. What does it cost to own one of these? Beautiful Cirrus SR20s. Well, for the past 10 months of 2020, this is what I've spent. And as you look at this list of costs, one thing to remember in the grand total is I added an IFD 540, I added an AXP 22, and I added ADSB out. So $3,317 a month. Now, that cost includes the IFD, the ADSB, and all the different upgrades. So that's that's the cost with the upgrades. On a normal year, if I back out those upgrades and I don't account for the IFD, here's what it looks like. See, really the payments are about the same except when you get to maintenance, and that's where the big difference is. So if you add up all those expenses, about a thousand dollar savings. And we're looking at a total cost per month, $2,310 to own this plane. And that's before I fill it with gas. Right in front of us. And we're gonna get on out of here. Okay, let's see what we got here. Okay, we got Nunner right, clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff nine right uh, zero five zero. Is it going to be our heading? Three Julia Tango. Bucky three three zero number one runway nine right. Clear for the option. Cheers departing for Wow. Clear for departure. Traffic site. Bucky three three zero. Okay. Let's see what this baby does. Feels down on the floor. Full right rudder. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003. Pages are in the green. We have airspeed. Alright, Bucky 545 inbound Monroe looking for closed traffic. Three laps in the pattern. We got real good airspeed. Bucky 545, Stanford Tower, decent improved, proceed direct to left base for runway 9 left. Proceed direct to left base for 9 left, Bucky 545. So we're going to climb at a 100. At 97, 96, 97, roughly. And we're going to go on course and vertical speed. Stanford Tower, 473 is on the visual left, right. Lucky 473 Stanford Tower. You are number two following company Skyhawk on short final, where we know the right there. Okay, boost pop pop. Well, here's a little uh, maintenance top tip for you. I don't know if you noticed, 
But when I started out flying the plane, take a look at the door right behind me, right here. See how the door seems to be creeping open? It looked fully shut when I took off. Here's how it looked when I, soon after take off. And here's how it looks after flying around a little bit. So those of you that have a Cirrus SR20s or Cirruses of any kind with the push button door, my maintenance guys recommend you pull the door closed. If you're in the left seat, pull the door closed with your right hand. And that way it will secure the latches on the top and the bottom. So fly safe out there and we will see you next time. Thanks for listening in, and don't forget to subscribe and like our channel. We are getting lots of uh, great feedback, and we appreciate it. Keep it coming.